Here we have a problem involving the binomial distribution, and we're asked to use the given values of n, sample size, and p, the constant probability, to find the minimum usual value, which is mu minus 2 times the standard deviation, and the maximum usual value, which is mu plus 2 standard deviations. And we're going to use two formulas for this. The first is the formula for the mean of a binomial distribution, which is simply n times p. And the formula for the standard deviation for a binomial distribution, which is the square root of n times p times q, where q is 1 minus p. And going to the TI-83 and first finding the mean, we're going to multiply 471 times 2 sevenths. And to do this problem, we're going to use a really cool feature in the TI-83, which is the store button. So next, I'm going to click the store button. And we're going to store this as a letter constant. And I'm going to choose the letter M for mean. The letter constants are in aqua color. So if I choose the alpha to choose the aqua color, and then look to find the letter M. Here I have the letter M. So now when I calculate 471 times 2 sevenths, it's going to store it in the calculator as the letter M. And here we have the mean. In a similar way, I'm going to calculate the standard deviation using the formula, the square root of N times P times Q, the square root is over the x squared key in yellow, so I'll hit the yellow second key and the square root. And now n, which was 471, times p, which is 2 sevenths, times q, which is 1 minus 2 sevenths. But if you had any question about how to get q from p, in this case, 1 minus 2 sevenths are 5 sevenths. Using that store feature, we're going to again store this as a letter, and we'll simply use the letter S, which is over the LN key, and press Enter. And here we have the standard deviation. Since we know that the minimum usual value is mu minus 2 standard deviations, mu minus 2 sigma, we'll now type into the calculator M minus 2S. And typing in M minus 2S, and then hitting the Enter key, here we have the minimum usual value. To find the maximum usual value, we'll use the same equation. The only difference is the minus sign will be replaced by a plus sign. And a quick and easy way to do that is to use the second enter button, the yellow second key, and then the entry above the enter key. And this is the last entry, which I can now edit by using the left arrow going back to the minus sign and replacing it by a plus sign, and now hitting Enter. And here are the two values for the minimum usual value and the maximum usual value in this binomial distribution. Pretty cool.